Welcome to the first edition of Tar Takes, the sports debate show run by Tar Heel students, presented by Relevant and the JR Report. Let's dig in with our first Tar Take. LeBron James is down one game to the Indiana Pacers after a 98-80 loss in Game 1 on Sunday. This is the same Pacers team that lost Paul George to the Oklahoma City Thunder this offseason and replaced him with Victor Oladipo. While the point of this is not to say LeBron is going to lose to the Pacers, I would be shocked if he did, it is about the reaction that follows LeBron after every game. There seems to be two scenarios. How did LeBron win with that supporting cast? Or, LeBron needs more help to win. As the media, can we decide does LeBron have enough help or not? Yes, before he moved to Miami, he didn't have the necessary help, and it was obvious. His 2007 NBA Finals team started Sasha Pavlovich, Drew Gooden, Larry Hughes, and Zydrunas Ilgauskas. There is no denying that it was not a great lineup, but it seems we have been unable to separate his early part of his career from the post-decision era, which is truly the part of his career which matters most and impacts his legacy the greatest. In Miami, James had the opportunity to play with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch, probably two future Hall of Famers, and he had a big three in a time where big threes weren't a thing. Yes, there was the Boston big three, but they were past their prime of their careers. In Miami, all three superstars were in the middle of their prime of their careers. It was nothing like we have seen before, and that has since become the model in the NBA with the Rockets, the Warriors, what the Celtics are trying to build with Gordon Hayward, Al Horford, and Kyrie Irving, and what the Timberwolves are trying to build with Wiggins, Towns, and Jimmy Butler. It was also what the Cavs had in the past with Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James. Since the Big Three has become a trend, a trend that was started by LeBron, he has always had two other superstars until this season. But it's not like Cleveland couldn't have had one. They had Isaiah Thomas, Kevin Love, and LeBron James going into this season. It just didn't work out. It's not like every other superstar in NBA history has always had the perfect team around him. But it seems like we expect that with all of LeBron's teams. James has had extraordinary talent around him ever since he departed for Miami. And he's gotten to the finals every single year. But the one year his team doesn't have three superstars, there is no help. Even the last few seasons, which still had Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, the theme has still been the same. And this year, the team still has Kevin Love and great depth led by J.R. Smith, Rodney Hood, George Hill, Kyle Korver, Jordan Clarkson, and Larry Nance. So what is it? Does LeBron James have help or not? It's not like any other superstar had a championship caliber team around him for his entire career. So let's just look at it for what it is. LeBron has had enough talent around him, sometimes more than other years, and this is a year where it is less. But it still falls on LeBron James. He built this roster. It's LeBron James's team. The team will win, and it will lose because of LeBron. Whether that is fair or not, that is the way it will be. None of this nonsense about whether his supporting cast is good enough. He created the trend of super teams in the NBA.